everyone is talking about it. Every YouTuber is ready to sell their kidneys and full body anime wife full pillows just to get their hands on this tech early. There's a high chance that your grandma told you about this thing even before putting her teeth in first thing in the morning. Any hipster would say that these puppies are revolutionary and is the best thing since sliced bread. And of course, I'm talking about Apple Goofy Goggles, also known as Apple Vision Pro, which is the first ever augmented reality headset with its own OS, with its own CPU memory and all that tinky winky. You can use your eyes and hands to navigate through apps and use your voice to search for the freshest new pics of Andrew Tate. With the headset, users can watch Little Mermaid in 3D with spatial audio. There's a camera that allows you to capture 3D video and then just sit there and watch your last year's birthday in 3D over and over again like a sad goober instead of, you know, actually spending some quality time with your friends. And in those moments where you just want to type a ducking word... It can also be used for Zoom calls, but who ducking cares when it's so goddamn revolutionary, right? Well, yes and no, because the crowd's reaction to the Apple snorkeling mask was muted as if someone was selling common sense in Florida. You see, the VR industry has long struggled to be taken seriously, with consumers mainly looking to it as a way of playing casual games rather than a device embedded in their everyday lives because nothing screams embedded in everyday life louder than a lizard brain monkey trying to smash virtual fruits with a virtual katana, causing severe collateral damage to its family members and a dog. If you like this video, please consider subscribing because it's absolutely free and you can always unsubscribe later. Anyway, let's see how Apple's goober goggles deal with the VR stigma. But wait, there's more to it because we're here to talk cringe and last night's WWDC was full of it. It was a masterpiece in that regard. And if it was just a product placement on top of a product placement, I would be happy, but now I'm sad because Apple has embedded woke propaganda in their presentation. How, you might ask? Good morning. And this otherwise beautiful moment where Craig Federighi is rocking on this three-neck fabulous electric guitar. So let's start off with what's new for AirPods. <laughs> But even that is fake. That middle neck is a 7th string with only 6 pickups. No way it's real. Also, the middle pickup looked painted on, so that guitar is probably just a prop. And he was playing Paranoid by Black Sabbath, and even that iconic riff they got wrong. This is how you're supposed to play it. Come on, Apple, you had one shot and you absolutely ducked it up. Like the only good thing about this WWDC was a Japanese guy saying that he loves Max. Kajima-san, you. Thank you. And that shot inspired by Ready Player One. But you know, maybe Apple Vision Pro isn't that bad because it would allow you to just sit back and enjoy your baby BNB Tiger NFT collection in its full royal glory. You're gonna want to put these snorkeling glasses on, sit on a plush couch and stare into a ducking wall like a weird house cat or something. As you immerse yourself in this stunning experience, your baby BNB Tiger NFT collection comes alive in all its pixelated awesomeness. By the way, don't miss out on these babies while the sale is still hot. Thanks to these NFTs with the real life utility, you will get huge discounts at Marketplace, a crypto Amazon, if you will, unlocking the luxurious life to common folk like you and I. Anyways, that's it for today. Bye, Tigers. Just wanna